What is the meaning of online friendships? I have been a fool a lot of times. If you knew how many videos over this past week that I've tried to make about this subject, you would... <laughs> it's, I've tried to make at least 20 videos about this. At least six of them were uploadable, but I never released them. I never uploaded them. I trust people that I shouldn't. It's happened a lot. I've gotten burned so many times. I'll see red flags and still trust them. I don't want to get into a mindset where I'm just not trusting anyone. I don't want to be that way. You know, there's this part of me that feels like I would be losing my humanity if I just stopped trusting people altogether. But there are times when I've gotten hurt so badly that it... out of this trust, that it affects me for quite a long time. And... I'm not going to say names, because I'm not trying to badmouth anybody. One person that I thought I was pretty close friends with in person. You know, we would go to a movie, we would sometimes go to dinner, and this person just was going to dump friendship with me over something like I was going to move into an apartment. There was there was talk. About the possibility of moving into an apartment and we were going to get together the next day to see if it was even a feasible even a feasible discussion and I called him up the next morning telling him that yeah I, I had talked with my mother quite a bit and she was kind of hurt that I was thinking about moving because she needs help she's able to do about half the amount of things that she could this same time last year. So, you know, this is a big house, and there's a lot of things that need to be done, and uh, if uh, she does want to move, she's still going to need a lot of help there, too. And, uh, you know, if she wants to sell the house. And so I told, I told them, you know, I, this isn't going to be feasible because I need to help my mother. He was about to, he was going to drop friendship with me and told me that I purposely hurt him. Um, I, when I told him, look, my mother was in tears over this stuff. She was really hurt. And he goes, well, that's a convenient excuse to hurt me. And then gave me the silent treatment for a week. Then I... About that week later, I was like, I, I've had enough of this silent treatment, so I went over to his place, knocked on his door, and he's like, go away. I don't want to talk to you again. And, uh... I eventually got him to come to the door after about 15 minutes, and... He still continued to push this idea that I was purposely trying to hurt him. Just because I want to help my mother. And I said, look, I want to try to help you find a place. You know, so then we talked some more, and then... <clears throat> over the next week, I gave him a ride to a bunch of different uh, apartment complexes, and he got some applications, and then not quite a week later, he uh, had the applications filled out. I drove him around to those places again. And then, just a couple days later, He's posting all over Facebook that uh, his life is screwed. He thinks someone uh, did identity theft on him because his credit was messed. And then he, the last thing that he posted was that uh, 
if people never see him again, uh, that he hopes they have a nice life. Uh, very much alluding to this idea that he was going to have a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And after a couple days of nobody being able to reach him, uh, I took the initiative to go to his place to find out if he was okay. He wouldn't come to the door. He wouldn't even... He made no noise at all. And I eventually had the manager come and check on him. And he was okay. He seemed a little bit annoyed that he'd been checked on. He was, he was glad that people were worried about him, but he was annoyed that he was checked on. Anyway, then uh, the scenario of a video that I made referenced him and said that he wanted to take me to a movie and I declined because I didn't like the movie. And he dropped friendship with me, threatened to start a lawsuit, and then proceeded to tell, to post about how terrible I am and that I was never a good friend to begin with. That really hurt. That really hurt a lot. Because I I have no idea how I could have been a better better friend to this person. You know, he's gonna write me off over over the the scenario with uh, my wanting to help my mother, and then I check on him when I thought he was really down. Uh, he wouldn't wanna didn't want to be reached by anyone. And then yeah, I just I, I don't know how much better of a friend I could have been. I really tried my best. Now before that happened, there was someone online who I had known for many, many, many months, maybe, maybe it was even more like a year, that, well, who, I always seem to say that instead of who, uh, we had a spat about an article. And I wasn't understanding the reason why he was stating his position over and over again. I thought I made it clear that I understood his position. He, we, we were talking past each other. And over that argument about that article, he dropped friendship with me. And those two things put together, mainly the thing of the second, the, the, the second person who I knew in person, just started to eat away at me. And I became worried and paranoid that any of my friends would, will, will just drop me as a friend at the tilt of a hat. I was scared to contact any of my friends because I thought that they would dump me as a friend. I just had this thing in my mind. And I don't know whether that would qualify as some sort of PTSD, but it really fucked with me. And I have still not fully recovered from it, but at least a little earlier tonight I was able to talk with someone about it for about an hour. And it helped a lot. Um, I was trying to contact as many people as I knew, but they were just unavailable, so... But this sort of thing really added to my eventual decision about what I've done here on YouTube. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to recover from this to where I'm not going to have this worry that people are just going to dump me as a friend over something that I don't even understand. So, you know, if that makes me stupid, because I'm not understanding that. Uh, I, I guess there are some areas that I'm stupid. Everyone is stupid in some areas. And everyone has some intelligence in some areas. Um, you know, I have autism and there are some things that I, there are some social things I don't get, I don't understand, I don't know how to relate with. And the fear of losing friends over things that I can't even comprehend, that does scare me. 
and it makes me not want to ever discuss anything that is potentially uh, volatile. Okay, part two of this video. I was still very hot. It's, it's, it was 98 degrees today, so, and it's still in the 70s right now, I believe. At least that's what it feels like. Um, but the questions that go through my mind so much are, what is an online friendship? What does that mean? There's a part of me that's very gullible. There's a part of me that's very naive. There's a part of me that's oblivious. And I, I still don't fully understand the nature of online friendships. Friendships. Because I'm speaking of, let's say, you know, someone who I've circled and they've circled me, or someone on Facebook who I'm friends with. What does that actually mean? And, you know, what happens when the illusion of having a lot of friends is sort of broken? What does that mean? Right now, I'm in a state of mind, I don't know who my friends are. Beyond the people that I've known for a long time. I have no idea who they are. I no longer know if someone is just being nice to me. Do they actually care about me? Do they not care about me? What does it all mean? And it's left me very confused. Um, I was... I, I I wish so much that I could meet so many of you who have treated me kindly in person. I, I, that was grammatically incorrect. I wish I could meet in person so many people who have treated me very kindly. And people that seem like they genuinely care. I wish I could meet so many of you. I wish I knew how to gauge this sort of thing better. I wish I knew.